Defending the United States from the threat of weapons of mass destruction is vital to the nation. To ensure the safety and protection of troops during combat operations, the Army relies on the specialized skills of the chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear specialists. A Seaborn Specialist is vital to the Army because we specialized in teaching other units on how to deal with chemical attacks and chemical hazards. In this military occupational specialty, your primary responsibility is to conduct operations such as Seaburn reconnaissance, surveillance, sensitive site assessment, and decontamination operations. You have to make sure that once you're entering a contaminated environment, when you're ready to come out, that you're not bringing any of that contamination with you. Seaburn specialists also operate and maintain Seaburn defense and individual protective equipment. Additionally, you may be responsible for providing technical advice on all Seaburn operations and hazards for company and higher level organizations, including federal assets. If you're looking to become a Seaburn specialist, I would advise you to get familiar with different kind of chemical agents, chemical hazards, and biological hazards, and also have a strong interest in chemistry. This career field requires individuals who are interested in science, have strong communication skills, with the ability to plan and stay organized, and are physically and mentally fit to work calmly under pressure. After successfully completing Army basic combat training, you will attend 11 weeks of advanced individual training at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, where you will learn to operate various types of decontamination and detection equipment in preparation for defense against a chemical, biological, or nuclear attack, or radiological hazard, and how to properly maintain and wear protective equipment during exposure to toxic agents and hazardous materials. During training so far, I feel like it has really prepared me to be successful in my MOS because although it's a lot of information to take at one time, you realize how much you actually retain the information when you do hands-on exercises and when you go through scenarios and different mock briefings. The instructors here are really good with making sure that you're on the right track to be successful, and I feel like that's what's prepared me the most. Once you have completed your advanced individual training, you could be eligible for worldwide assignments. You will also have the opportunity to earn a hazardous material certificate. The skills and knowledge you acquire may help you transition from the military to the civilian workforce. Many of these skills apply to jobs within the Department of Homeland Security and federal organizations. The search that I've earned as a Seaburn soldier, hazmat awareness, hazmat operations, hazmat technician, I can take those certs that the civilian side recognizes and I can get a job such as transporting hazardous material or working for the firehouse cleaning up hazardous waste. Defending the country from the threat of weapons of mass destruction, military occupational specialty, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear specialist.